welcome to Niji Farms and Allied Services. Uh, this is a farm established like almost uh, four years ago. Our aim is to make sure that we'll do a proper farm uh, uh, operations and teach people how to achieve a proper uh, profit on the farm. So this is a cassava farm, one of our farms. So we, we are operating on over 3,000 acres of land planted already. We are moving towards almost uh, 5,000 acres this year. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to do a proper land clearing, land preparation. We are going to see all those operations, the way it's been done. So we are going to see the people who are planting. The way we are moving our project forward, everybody is going to see it now by the time we go around. We are trying to divide our operations into different uh, stages. We have a, a, a section on land clearing, we have a section on land uh, preparation, then we have, have another section on planting, another section on proper weed control management. So what we are trying to say is that we develop different service providers for different operations on the farm so that we are going to showcase whatever we are doing, put it on the TV for people to see the way it's been done. So people can actually learn by watching all this and not necessarily come to the farm to watch and look at the missing gap and what if they turn to be a farmer, the advantage and the benefit. We are going to be projecting it later on TV. So everything is going to be integrated in a way that we can actually get a proper resource and lead Nigeria to the next level of agriculture. That's what we are trying to do. Provide a different solution and get agricultural, agricultural production rights in Nigeria. My name is Kola Adeniji. I'm the MD CEO of Niji Farms. The Niji Farms, we have another sister company, that's Niji Foods, add value to whatever we are doing. The Niji Luka is the one that deals with engineering aspect of it, designing and fabrication and maintaining all the our uh, processing equipment. And we equally sell out for people too. We develop we people to set up if they are intent to set up a processing center. We support people in, in fabrication and setting it up for them. So normally, we, I will advise the government to look into a proper way of promoting agriculture in the right direction. So like uh, most of the problems we are facing, when you look at the number of tractors in Nigeria, it's limited. We are, we are having one tractor to 1,000 hectares, whereby we have to have 10 or 20 tractors to 1,000 acres. So they need to look at into that area. And by bringing tractor, they should not bring any clone tractor. They should bring, any stand, they should bring a standard tractor whereby they have a service maintenance agreement and they are able to sign a proper agreement for training of the tractor operators and tractor mechanics, which is key in it. And uh, we need to develop a lot of different products so that we can use our products, so we can use our products. So we don't just sell the raw material, we, we use our products, we process and use our products. When you look at uh, America, you can fly for almost over three hours on farmland. Those are the kind of things I'm um, imagining and things I really want us to look at in Nigeria. That Most of the time I fly over Nigeria, I fly, so we see that most of the lands are just uh, empty. No farmland, nothing on the land. So a land bank initiative is good enough. We are working on a corporate farming uh, a, a modem, then we are working on a reality TV show for the youth to make them be, uh, 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 to develop interest in the farm. So we have different area of uh, system we are using. And what Niji Group is doing now is to serve as an example for everybody in being in fabrication of agro-allied equipment, being in processing, being in farm mechanization. So we are leading by showing the youth on how to go about it. So and we are calling the government and the developing partner to see and the research institution to see, okay, let's join handy with the people who are actually doing it. Let's talk less, let's go into action and get whatever needed to be done. And we need to get it right. This is the last opportunity we have as a nation to get it right now. So irregardless of our leader or where we are coming from. So individuals need to develop a system and we need to get things done immediately. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm using this opportunity to say a big thank you to my viewers who are watching what we've been able to do. All this job you've been able to see is something we put up together like a, like a dream, so like a vision to action, and it comes to reality now, which almost every different body is coming to look at. And I give glory to God Almighty. Thanks. What we are looking at is a starch and flour processing plant, capacity of almost 100 tons of, 100 tons of cassava per, per day. 
So that's what we are trying to do. So then the building you are looking at is our training and office complex. This is a cassava starch and flower processing center, 100 tons capacity. So, and the, the farm you see now is like a pilot farm. This one is planted with a, a planter, so a cassava planter. That's the demonstration. We're in a planting plantation now. This is our goat uh, section. So we are trying to do some intensive uh, goats every day. So we plant every day. This is one stage, this is another stage. That's why you can see different stages of uh, cassava. And we have it on a daily basis too. Cassava farm. This one planted this year. It's uh, like almost uh, four months. So we've done only once uh, weeding. So and the cassava came off and this is a TME 41 So this is another land we are getting set for another getting ready for another planting for for this year. What we are just going to show you the stages of a uh, cassava. The one that I just went affected is just a seven month uh, cassava. So it means another like a three months for it or four months for it to be properly matured. So just to show you the stages of things. So this is nine month uh, Cassava, you can see. This is never one cassava, you can see. And this uh, is just a TME for one. So let's let, let, let's have another one. This, this one will mention like almost uh, this one will mention like almost uh, almost uh, between 10 and 15 kg. So and uh, we have a planting population of let's say uh, almost. Uh, so we multiply almost uh, 10, uh, 10 kg by almost uh, 12,000 stands, so it's a lot. So that we're taking. So we can have another one.